Hey guys, I'm back. Um, had a full on weekend with my retreat and absolutely loved it. The girls are fantastic and I miss them already. So I said I'll be singing that, you know, that song all by myself today. So I'm all by myself, but I'm with you guys. They'll get a laugh out of that. Um, I thought I'd show you some of the bits and pieces that um, we collected along the way and what we gave to each other. And then I'll give you a flip through of what um, I actually made as well. So um, I will start off with some of these beautiful trims. I got these from Amanda. Gorgeous colours. They have, they've got these in their journals as well. They're all so generous. We were giving each other heaps of stuff over the weekend. They're just beautiful. So they, they did the wood. Amanda and Nat did the Woodland Journal. And um, Jeanette and I did the Shabby Chic one. So, and I've got that from Jeanette as well. And all the, some of the stuff that's in the um, journal, we, we got it. Nat had a little, little lots of stamps which I stamped off. And they had die cuts with them as well. And she gave me some mushrooms. And um, Jeanette gave me some bits and pieces to try out. I really want to um, get some of this stuff from um, some of the ladies, like uh, Tracy Fox and all that. So I thought I'd, she gave me a little bit to give it a whirl. But I'm definitely going to be buying some of them, that's for sure. Oh, even my husband <laughs> found this in the... Uh, in the op shop and bought it home so I was pretty happy about that Van Gogh postcards I actually went to this exhibition and saw most of these paintings live so pretty happy about that and then um, Nat bought a couple of books she had a, a hedgehog one which she used and I'm like oh this is nice so she she ended up giving me this one. She's gorgeous. It's got some really cute pictures in there. There's a squirrel up here. I think there's another really cute squirrel in there. Look, isn't he gorgeous? So, um, really nice books. So pretty. Thank you so much, Nat. <laughs> and then I'll just show you. Amanda had a whole heap of stamps. Which I thought, oh, they're so cute. I thought, oh, I just got watercolour paper and I'm going to stamp them off and then colour them in. And look at these. I'm not really into frogs, but they're so cute. I used, I think I used this in, the, yeah, that's these. I cut them out. So beautiful. I want to do a woodland journal. So these are perfect for that. They're so cute. Now, and where else? I've got a whole pile of. Um, bits of papers left over this is from Jeanette as well she did her journal in this range as well as some other stuff so beautiful secret garden she gave me some of the paper we just all used and borrowed stuff from each other and um, Jeanette gave me her page so I'll show that on a different video <laughs> but she gave me a page and um, other bits and pieces as well which I'll be showing later now this I got from um nat she gave everyone one like she must have been busy i tell you this is beautiful it's like a file folder and she's put an elastic um page and then giving us all bits and pieces and just filled it so we can take it out how beautiful is this gorgeous napkins old music paper different it looks like french um, what do you call them? Dictionary paper. Look at that tea towel. I love that. So I love that. It's a very good idea that we can just pull them out as we need them. Little doggies. I love that one. Love these too. Too much of a good thing is wonderful. Lead me not into temptation. I find the way myself. <laughs> that sounds like me. And then gorgeous just so beautiful the other side of that the other side of the dictionary paper uh, adult adulterous adultery what are you trying to say now <laughs> adventure that's me <laughs> so uh yeah so beautiful and then there she's got really nice just chuck a lock full of lock with seeds and really old 
and dictionary page some tickets I love these colour envelopes they're great the injury sustained from the weekend this is Russian I think that's pretty cool I like some of the stuff with other languages um, oh, what's that called shorthand I just think it is just really weird how that is that <laughs> I don't know how how people do it always fascinates me shorthand now oh, gorgeous colors this is just beautiful and then and that's not enough you know we've got more over here we've got a Yahtzee oh that's pretty Got a tag there bridge and once you know that's an envelope a nice colored envelope and then some bits and pieces things and um you can watch trim eyelash trim i like this color bag too feels like it's like fabric washy i think that might be it never i didn't really have a uh, much of a close look on the actual day and then isn't this cute how cute are they tiny little tags Oh, there you go, more tags I can add to my little collection. Because I, was, I don't really have a lot of tags, like um, labels, and I really wanted to get some more labels. So thank you so much, Natty. It's just beautiful. I and mean, she made one of these for everyone. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So there's just such beautiful, generous people in this community. And we had a ball. So... These gorgeous, love the folder and the paper. And then when we went to Gail's Patchwork, um, they bought stuff, but I also bought stuff as well. They always come in nice, nice little baggies, some beautiful fabric. It was just too cute. It sort of reminded me a little bit of Alice in Wonderland with the rabbit, but. Um, yeah, sort of like an owl and a deer sort of mushroom. I just loved it. I thought they would be really cute to cut out um, in the forest. Oh, squirrel. Which way? Where are we? Yeah. Squirrel, hedgehog. That one's upside down, isn't it? Cute. So um, I just thought it was beautiful. And then we all um, got, I was supposed to give you half of this nap. I'll be putting it in the post. <laughs> We want to make a Alice in Wonderland journal each. I said, okay, we'll have to all um, do that. So that's just enough for the cover. And, and um, she's really good. You can cut 20 centimetre. I think this is 25 centimetre. But it's Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if you can sort of see it. I hope it's not too close. Focusing. It's really nice. So, And then these were little $3. I think it might be a fat quarter, which are normally $6 each. So they're half price. No? no, I don't know. Maybe they're half a fat quarter. So, but um, it's nice just to get a, a small amount. I love this the Baltic fabrics. You can't go wrong with these colours. Just gorgeous. So nice. There we go. Love this one too. Look at the colours. Oh, they're just beautiful. So there's our little. And uh, some of the other girls got some stuff from Kazar Craft as well. And so we had a ball. It was great. So I will show you. Let's put these down. Um, this is the journal we end up, I end up making. But these were the two that I had they could choose from. Um, it's been a while since you've seen these. So I might, and I'm going to um, sell these on my Etsy store. I've had kept them for a while. Um, I'm keeping the one that I made because it reminded me of this retreat but um, it's, it's, this is the woodland style one so um, made I don't know some of the new subbies probably wouldn't have seen this they're just beautiful it's sort of like a big keepsake journal those lot from those little ones that I've made really really tactile these ones 
and then a big journaling card and a little raccoon love my raccoons raccoons and squirrels so i'll be selling this because i want to make another one so cute this is some of my um, artwork and then inside here a little journal with um, dyed papers and, and all that and then lace along here yeah hopefully that's in the middle love that that was from my name book i thought it was so cute is there anything here that's that book yep um, more lace I made some of this, these and everything when we went to Hall's Gap last year. So um, reminds me of that. I bought bought this lace here, and that was the tag. So I put that in there. Yes, yeah, so it's very very tactile. This one, and sort of a bit more rustic. These are some cards I had. This was the flap that was on the front, but I took it off. It just didn't seem to work on this one. Um, is there a tag in there? No, I don't think I end up putting one in there. Squirrel. Using be Faye's beautiful papers. Just go so well. Or oh, gorgeous, gorgeous text textile. Tag in there. Peering through. There he is. And there another tag. Like that, little bear, another one on my hand, my artwork as well. Got a little deer on there, mouse. So I used a lot of these, these were little cards, like kids playing cards, which I grabbed. And then a deer, I actually got this page from Gail. Gail Agnostelli, I can't say your name properly, um, a book which I still need to make up. Um, so it's like a journaling journaling book that goes in there. I think I need to. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it like that because I don't want to wreck that mushroom. And then on the back, love this fabric. That was actually from that Gail's Patchwork Shop. Um, just gorgeous vintage doily. More. That's this, except for in those colours. So absolutely gorgeous and I hand dyed that as well and very very tactile I just love it <laughs> the sleeping fox yeah so beautiful so that was that one and then this was the shabby chic one a bit of bling so this is using stamperia very different this sort of folds out like that's what that other tag was so that was part of my, it's just very, doing a very quick flip because um, I've already done it um, last year. But this is for the new girl and there's also a tuck spot in here as well. And they beautiful papers so that you'll see, because um, I made this last year, how different the new one is. <laughs> and then I've got a booklet in there pink papers this is a bit more shabby chic and then this is so this is avocado dyed lace here and here vintage motifs this is from a, a beautiful tablecloth dangle and made with love this uh, avocado dyed as well this one's got that one in there, using a bit of everything in this. Put that one in there because I didn't like the spider on a tidy <laughs> butterfly with a bit of bling. Journaling card, love that. It's really pretty stamp, stamp area pack. Love this, so beautiful. Vintage. Um, lace in that another journaling card and lace on the back there and these are old book pages that I used for some of those 
Beautiful. And here, so there's plenty of place to journal, and I think you can stick something in there as well. And then here, and a big journaling card at the back. And a doily, a vintage doily. So that was the, the two. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll sell these on Etsy. So be on the lookout for that. I'll, I've got to still photograph them and put them on my Etsy store, um, probably within this week. So, and then this is the one that I'd created with the ladies. Um, very different. I got that from Gail's. Um, so, yeah, that was some of Jeanette's paper. Still the same. Um, and then on that one I folded over. I used a Stamperia pack, um, which I got bought from um, Erica. Thank you, Erica. It is it was perfect for this. So, um, so all these papers, a lot of these papers are from that um, and beautiful fabric. This is from Jeanette as well, from that beautiful in, in the garden. And that goes in there, but I just thought it was too pretty to leave in there. I wanted to just keep it in there, get a vintage lace. Love this. This is probably one of my favourites. It's just the way that these dark colours complement the, the light. Just a CD case. And then I coloured up some lace. Beautiful. And then just put a little tuck spot here. And then this was another one from Jeanette. I thought it was so sweet. They just remind me of little fairies. Tuck spot in there. And then take them out. Gorgeous vintage lace. That's what I like about Stamperia. They, you don't have to make up the tags. <laughs> They're already there. This beautiful trim I got from um, Gail Patchwork. And more of the... It's the same with this paper. Right, and I'll just cut my other butterflies and put it there. And have that one there, the little in, some bling. And then in there, rather than doing a journaling one, I made a big tag and used the leftover. You'll see this doily at the back, um, which I hand dyed. I hand dyed all the doilies for the girls for the back. Um, so I thought I'll just put the big tag in there. Some vintage lace, gorgeous doily. Got my bling. Just fit, they just fit in so beautifully. So I just concentrated on doing all the other stuff and then um, just slid in all the the uh, tags and all that from the pad. It was great. And the, this is the paper from there as well. This was from a different one. The Kazar craft. So pretty. Little cameo. So beautiful. Sort of more in the pinks and um, blues. Another tag which I sort of laid on. That's what was left, so I had to use that up. And then this tag. Love how that turned out. Bit of lace underneath. Just did a bit of. Loved a butterfly. Okay. And then this is Lily of the Valley. Which I really like. This, see that was one I think Jeanette. Yeah, Jeanette gave us that. And then I got the big, big bling on there. So that's a this embossed papers. That's when I went on my holidays. I got that. I thought that's got to go in there. And almost seems a shame to cover them and on the other side a doily some more made it 3d vintage um, lace avocado vintage dyed in vintage lace on the book page and another envelope so there's a tuck spot in there yes this is an old earring on layered on vintage um, laces and I bought that one so Jeanette bought that one this colour and I bought them in the pink a bit of bling and on here it's got 
March uh, 2020 retreat and all the, the names of the ladies that came. And here's that. I put it actually, this is supposed to go on the back. <laughs> and I put the rings in the wrong spot. So there you go. So you, this is how you can fix mistakes because the back's supposed to just have that. And there's no tuck spot there. So I thought, oh, well, make the good use of, you know, remembering. And then um, this has got a tuck spot. So that's the back. And from a playing card, a big playing card. It's really pretty. And that's the other half of that joy that's in, in there as well. So I really love how that turned out. Um, we had a ball. Like I was thinking that I wouldn't be out because I was teaching them how to do this, that I wouldn't have much time to do it. But they're just so competent. And we, you know, three days, you get it done in three days. But they took that long to make this three days of full on work, nine to five every day. So, um, yeah, beautiful. Um, okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. Just as a quick um flip through and what what happened in the uh the the retreat um i've got leftover papers and everything so i might make up myself a shabby chic um collage was it they call master page um yeah so and i'm just gonna make you know i don't i may not do that on, on camera but um what have i got oh i'm nearly done nearly done with this so the signature is in i just have to um finish you know putting some bits and pieces of ephemera and i've dyed the dyed the stuff i've just got to put all the bits and pieces in so that will be nearly done too so okay guys thank you very much um it was an enjoyable weekend but um but it was nice to sleep in today and have a bit of a relax and i've just cleaned my room so uh, i've got to get back into it and create some beautiful videos for you to enjoy um thank you very much guys i really appreciate um, all my new subbies that i'm getting and for the beautiful comments that you leave i just appreciate it okay thanks very much for watching bye